This is the moment. So last video, 100K giveaway. This video, we're about to announce the winner. So uh, I'm about to go on here. Who's it gonna be? Please load. And then uh, basically I'm just gonna do something very scientific and scroll back and forth a bunch. First comment I click on, I'm gonna click on it. And then up here I got the tab for the other video, which if you entered, you know you had to comment in both videos. All right, I think we found one. Joshua, 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 Joshua. We gotta see if you're the lucky one. So I'm about to, all right, Joshua. Let's see, screenshot capture. The man is in here too. The man is under the uh, EHP video. I'm not even gonna bother trying to zoom in. Uh, but Joshua Cruz, you're the winner. On the screen. Um, I think in the comment, it did say you're from the Philippines. So fortunately, EHP will ship it directly from them. Shoot, man, congratulations. The winner, oh, I didn't, I should have put the supplements here. Next giveaway, I'll announce it with what I'm giving away in the next video. So, so Joshua, I'm gonna contact you directly. So I wanna do more giveaways, I'll contact the winner directly, but definitely look out on the videos too, because uh, you know, if I email you or something, it goes to spam, make sure you see the, make sure you watch the videos, especially um, for these giveaways. Let's get the, let's get this video rolling. We got a, we got a video to do, we got, we got things to do, we got schedules to meet, let's go, let's go. which uh which brings us to today's video so topic of the video how do you body build when you're broke or basically how do you body build when you're on a tight budget um you got life which i understand is definitely expensive so we're gonna dive into that today kind of throughout um the session and then we'll, we'll, we'll do a little bit on meals a little bit later just like hit some points uh because today is also leg day so we're about to first start off at the gym you just saw me get down a little bit of breakfast which was good, it's necessary. But we'll go over food, how to keep things cheap, kind of after the session. I forgot my cheap workout. I was already at the door. Oh, pre-workout, let's, let's get to the gym. Get hit by a car, bro. That's how we started. <laughs> What's up, YouTube? Exactly. So the first point. Number one is picking a good gym. And I, I wouldn't necessarily say go with the cheapest gym out there. Go with the gym that works best for you. And the reason I say that is because, well, honestly, this is, this is where you're gonna be spending most of your time and you wanna find a place that's gonna motivate you to get to the gym. Um, so let's get inside first, cause it's pretty damn cold. So oh, Pippi, yeah, epic, epic, epic. So basically find a gym like this where they're super chill. They let you film a little bit. Let me. I'm gonna hand it over to Ken. I don't know where he's at, but we're gonna get this leg session rolling. We going heavy? Kind of, so I guess too. Dang, this model really had me messed up. So if you didn't see the last two videos now, I did have model for a month, uh, and this is like the first real week back. And this is actually my first full leg session. So I've done some leg work here and there, mixed it with cardio, but um, today's the real test. Today is the real test. So we'll warm up real quick. Heavy, uh, probably moderate weight. So not heavy today. I don't want to pull anything. I just want to, I don't know, get a good full leg session in. It's a little bit more athletic today than normal. <laughs> These things haven't been pumped in years. That's what it feels like. So we'll warm up first. I guess I could explain. This isn't like a basic, basic lunge. Instead, lunging in and then driving my hips forward and stretch the hip flexor here. Because for me, that's like the number one thing that tightens up. Anytime I train legs, anytime I run, it's hip flexor, so. Extra emphasis on that for me when I warm up. I was trying to explain to them the importance of um, like picking a good gym. Because this video is like, all right, how do you, how can you bodybuild, you know, work out, stay in shape while staying on a budget? You know, if you got a yeah. tight budget, and I mean, that's that's really how I started, but I, I kind of said the one thing I did spend money on, I wanted to hear your opinion. The one thing I did spend money on was a gym membership. I was like, like for me, I prioritize that 
over most other things. I was like, yeah. Let me get a, a good membership to a gym where I can get everything. Like, like I have all the tools I need for my training. Because like for me, it's important to like take, stay excited training and make sure like I can go to a spot that's that's not too far away. Not too expensive, but, but still has yeah. like, everything I need. So I wanted to hear your opinion on that. For me personally, because like, I'm not in your level of uh, commitment and working out. I just want to be fit, right? True, and true. it's not like my full-time thing. Mm -hmm. So I'm okay with just like having a $10 membership at like a cheap place or something. Right, like but now, yeah? yeah, Planet Fitness right now. But it, it, I think it really depends on your level. If you go there, you mostly see just like uh, cardio stuff, like treadmills and right, right. other stuff. They got right? some, some good stuff for calisthenics for sure. Like they have some, good some stuff. stuff. Yeah, if you're in calisthenics, that that's that's an all right or eh, what do you call that? Okay place, right? Yeah, but yeah. still not the ideal place. But like, it, I think it really depends on your level of commitment and your level. Just what your needs are. Yeah, right? your needs, yeah. right? That's what I kind of measured. It was like. Like find uh -huh. the find the best place that suits your needs. You know, obviously. Yeah. I think to an extent you don't want to be driving. Like there was a time I used to go to this. Like for like a month, I went to this like more not powerlifting gym, but more intense. Yeah. Like, you know, like that was really cool because everybody there is really serious. But yeah. It was like 40 minutes away, and I liked it. The price wasn't bad, but it was just too far to go. To yeah. Every single day, like 40 minutes, mostly on the highway. So yeah. you want to find something that like fits you. Your, your lifestyle, the time you, you have to go to the gym, and yeah. like what your needs are, you know? Like yeah. if you don't need everything at the, at the most expensive gym, why would you pay for that? If you don't have the budget, but you're ready to take that next step, like what do you do? I think there's always a way to budget it out. Like assuming you're not trying to go to like some gym in New York that's like $500 a month, like say you're at like a $10, $10 gym and you want to move to like a $30, $35 gym in, in terms of the monthly membership, I would say, I would say really, really budget yourself and, and sacrifice that that extra, what is that, $25 yeah. through the month to be able to pay for that. So like, things like, like I prioritize, like especially at the start, like I, I told him I was starting at LA Fitness, I prioritize that gym membership over extra things like nice pre-workout on deck or always having like extra pre or protein, creatine, like, like for me, being in a space where I could do my training at the level I wanted to train at was, was number one. I mean, shoot, I sacrificed yeah. on it, so. Good answer, man. That one, yeah. no, I gave him a whole school. Yeah, we mean to ask you, don't you ever use gloves? Uh, I can't I can't work out without gloves. Gloves, I don't like like I get to a point. I guess it saves money. Topic number two, equipment in the gym. That's a good good thing. Basically the only thing I use and, and it's because of I don't, I don't know if you'd call it injury or personal preference, but a lot of times my my wrist used to get really swollen, especially doing a lot of pulling, like I'm back there or something. So I use, you'll see me put on wrist straps a lot of times on most of my days except leg day. And I really just helps prevent like any kind of injury or extra strain on my wrist, gives me some extra support. But other than that, like I really don't use equipment. I have like a cheap weight belt I bought for like 15 bucks on Amazon for um, like weighted dips and pull-ups, if you guys see that with the chain. But other than that, like I really don't, I'd never really spend money on equipment.
Yeah, I was gonna, I was gonna ask you. So, like before working out, bro, do you like eating? It, it just depends. A lot of times, if I do cardio early, I won't eat. Um, but if I do, yo, I can never breathe. If I do a weight training session, especially like something like leg day, I want a little bit of food, especially like a oatmeal or something, keep me keep me going for a minute. It's a slow digesting carb. But really, like on the top of the food, so that what is that? Point number three, three four. I think four, three. Three, three, food. All right. I would do like a whole grocery thing and take you through shopping. I have other food videos. Check out the, the like diet and nutrition playlist on my channel if you want like a lot of in-depth tips on exactly what I eat. But food is as a whole. I mean, try not to eat out. That's going to be more expensive. Um, you know, even like people love, you see fitness people eat sushi all the time, this and that. All right, that's not cheap. So, so the best thing to do is shop grocery stores, you know, look, look, look for sales. Um, you know, shop a grocery store you know has quality food food but at a good price and and buy in bulk that's number one like if, if you can uh, afford to budget out it, at least some bulk things so for me I always bought a couple things in bulk especially at the start which was rice eggs which is a phenomenal protein um, you know rice is staple at every meal you get some potatoes cheap you know they last a while um, it's a good starchy carb oatmeal is, is best you can get in bulk I mean I have that every morning so you have the, you want to find those those few things you, you know like I could pretty much eat this every day. This is gonna be a staple in my diet. It's good, you know, it's either a really good carb source, good protein, some good healthy fats, and you know it's gonna last you a while. And if, if you go the route of buying, which which I did sometimes, buying like proteins like you know, chicken, turkey, maybe you wanna do some lean beef, you know, if you wanna go that route. And then you buy buy it in bulk, freeze it. Like I have friends who literally Maybe it wasn't the most cost efficient, but they would buy so much. They purchased, like, get this can, they purchased a, uh, what do you call it? Like a, a mobile freezer. Like, you know those, like, industrial? Oh, shoot. They purchased really? an industrial freezer and literally had it stacked with food. Do you have, like, a grocery list in your website or something? I'm gonna make, like, a little, like, beginner's list, like, especially with those things you can buy in bulk. Uh, I'm just gonna put it below. So nothing fancy, but it's some good information, like, really good carbs, really good protein sources. I'll throw in a couple like healthy sources of fat. Just hook you guys up. Don't even worry about it. You don't gotta go anywhere except the video description. But uh, you know, leave a like while you're at it. I don't know. <laughs> Alright, you know what? So that's, that's a wrap on the workout. Honestly, man, not bad. It's been, it's been over a month since I had legs. So that's not bad at all. The last thing, really, the last tip, what is it, number four, number five? I'm losing count. I lost count, Same. bro. But, uh, so yeah, it's about supplements. 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 Right? And really, if you're on a budget, like priority-wise, and I didn't always know this. I always thought, like, protein, everybody talked about protein. That was the first thing I had to have. Well, if you have enough protein in your diet, I'll say the, the one thing I prioritize is getting some type of creatine because that's gonna, like once you're loaded with creatine, I'll say help to increase muscle size a little bit um, and 
help to give you more energy during your sessions in terms of like the ATP storing the muscle. So is it, um, you know, if you have extra money you want to put in the supplements, I would say even number two, I'll move protein to number three, assuming you're getting enough from your diet. And number two, I say get a good pre-workout because that's gonna help maximize your session. So what and, and that's whatever work pre-workout works best for you. Everybody's body's different. Um, obviously with, with all supplements, try and go with reputable brands, but um, as far as pre-workout goes, yo, like, I know some people who just drink a coffee, like a black coffee before the lift, like 70, 90 milligrams of caffeine, that's enough for them, and, and they're smooth, so whatever gets it done. I'll show you guys what I have to take after this workout, because I take a, like, I like to take my protein creatine as a post-workout shake, so we'll head back to the crib, I'll show you that, and then we'll wrap up the video. Shoot, my energy just took a dive, but I'll see you. Alright, this better. I had to rinse the mouthpiece out a little bit. Shout out. So I guess one of the sponsors of the video, High Smile. Um, shoot, and I've been with them for a minute. This isn't like a random thing. I'm trying to just show you guys. I've been using them probably the last year. They even have like toothpaste now. So they have like night and day toothpaste, which is pretty chill. Use that. I like it. It's stylish. But uh, shoot, this little guy, teeth whitening. I do this probably, probably like once every three or four months. Um, I don't know if you do it too much. I think there's like a limit. You're not supposed to teeth whiten too much. I keep it to like three or four months, especially before like a little photo shoot or something. Just, uh, you know, a little extra pop, look nice. Floss your teeth, that's number one. Always floss your teeth, but this really helps you. The look, kind of go that extra mile. Shoot, it's easy to use too. Like really all you have to do is you just attach the little, uh, you attach the little tray on like to itself once you got the battery on. And then um, you put the gel in. So I think like they have these nice little like syringes. You put one fourth, like a quarter of the syringe in the top and then a quarter in the bottom. So half total. And that's really it. You just pop it in your mouth, turn the little light on, chill for 10 minutes, do whatever. I apply it for like, I do it for about a week, literally just 10 minutes a day. Boom, super simple. They kill it. Big shout out to them. Um, and like I said, the company's dope. Work with them for a minute. And there, what's cool about them is they're continuing to evolve. So I'm kind of curious what else they'll do. Like in the, I don't know, I'm not in that like teeth industry, but they're more than just teeth whitening, which is sick. So give them a look. I'll have a link to this in the description below if you want to grab the the teeth whitening kit. Shoot, they're they're the real deal. They're the real deal. Wanted to end this video talking about creatine since I did mention it when we talked about supplements in terms of affordability, how to do things on a budget. This right now is my number one supplement. If I could only take one, it's honestly pretty cheap. You get the best bang for your buck. It's going to last you a while. So this, you know, this is going to last you at least three months. You take one serving a day. If you're new to creatine, I would say load it. Like I, when I first started creatine, I loaded it. So I did like 20 grams a day for the first four days. So that's four servings, four or five gram servings, 20 grams. And that's just the first week. And then after that, it's loaded in your system. But it helps. So I don't know if I explained it too well. I'll go a little more in depth. Basically, like, what is it? Like, people ask, is it protein? Is it pre-workout? Is it is it steroids? All right, it's not steroids. So we're just gonna get that out of the out of the question. It's not protein, although it is made up of amino acids, and it's not pre-workout. Typically, if you just buy creatine alone, it's flavorless. It is no caffeine. It is it's just straight pure creatine. Comes in two forms: HCL, monohydrate. I've tried both. Honestly, it's just personal preference. If you like, I know, you know, my roommate takes it with pre-workout. The HCL would honestly be a better move for him because it's sour. It would match like those fruity flavored pre-workouts versus this is pretty much tasteless. I just throw it in my protein, as you've seen. Basically, how it works is is your, your muscles use ATP for energy, right? And during the workout, that ATP is used up, whatever. And I think it's converted into uh, another compound called ADP. But basically, minus the, all the technical jargon, the ATP is energy. Creatine is going to help your body uh, uh, produce more ATP. So basically, you're gonna your your muscular endurance is gonna go up slightly once you're loaded with this, and um, 
your muscular strength will increase a little bit too. Your, your muscle size, like your fullness, it'll also increase your help to increase your muscle mass, uh, mainly because it, it'll hold a little more water in the muscles. And there's tons of research out there. Maybe this is your first small education on creatine. I always say, look at other videos, look at other people, take their experience um, and decide whether or not you want to use it. It's very, very low risk as far as supplements go, more low risk than pre-workout. Um, and it, you know, it's not like people say, oh, am I, am I too young? Um, you know, you might be watching, maybe you're 15, 16, uh, perfectly fine to take creatine. Obviously with any supplement, you know, Always check with your doctor if you're if you're if you can, um, you know whether it's protein, pre workout, whatever. You know you're adding something new to your body that you're gonna take in every day. You know make make sure everything's healthy. I hope you guys found this video helpful. I kind of just rambled through and went over surface level um, the topics I think or like the the points I think that that really help to help you to build your body, build your physique, train in general um, while sticking to a budget, but. That's how, that's some of the things I've used to budget and bodybuild at the same time. But what do I know? I'm just Merck. Thank you for watching. Woo! We out. Let me sit, you know? A little sit.